accident, but it was an intentional act. Uh, just to kind of give you the ground rules, I cannot tell you everything in, in Amanda's statements, simply because that's unethical for me to do that. I will give you some some type of a synopsis so that you have some idea of what what's going on here. Uh, we have we have got a complete uh, tape statement from her. Uh, basically, her defense is here. Is about her woman, woman defense. Uh, she's in Shelvin. Uh, she's now in a psychiatric ward, uh, and she's fulfilling that that defense in the fact that uh, you were you were in complete control of her. Uh, that she would do anything uh, for you, uh, and that you you abused her. Uh, those type of things, and that is her defense to what happened. Uh, so. I think it's going to be important here for you to get on record and counter that in some way, shape, or form. Uh, we know it was not an accident. We know that there was uh, talk uh, prior to that day about going to the lake to go boating. Uh, we know obviously that there's no boat involved. Uh, we know that the, the phone was used uh, for prior to the Instantly, why there's a lot of things that we know, and she's given a full statement concerning all the uh, details about it, all the talk about it, all the language about whether or not we're going to do this. Uh, a lot of things have have come out in her statement. Uh, so basically, she's putting it all on you, Maurice. And frankly, we don't believe that's the case because uh, I believe, first of all, she had every opportunity in the world to, to stop this from happening. And uh, and uh, I don't think it's all you. I mean, it's her kids. So what motive have you got to hurt the kids? I don't. I frankly don't see that. I think she's got a lot of motive to do that. But unfortunately, right now she's putting it all up on you. So it, and Maurice, it's gonna it's gonna do you in. Yeah, it's gonna do you in. So so you know if you want if you want if you want to take this whole load. You want to test it's exactly right. It's not right. But if you want to take the whole boat here, go right on. I mean, and, and there'll, be, there'll be some people cheering right behind you. Because, you know, hey, look at it. You're a black man, you got you're a white woman, you got three three white kids. If you don't think if you don't think there aren't some of them out there that's gonna be, you know, they're gonna be right on behind this thing. And thinking that, that it is all you. And frankly, I don't believe that. I don't believe that for one minute. So I don't see any reason. I, I know Amanda from her past. I've, I've grown up with Amanda in that town, so I know I know Amanda's past drug use. I know I know she's went out and tried to trap every man that she's that she's that she's had before. Tried to get pregnant to keep to have to have a you know a husband. She's went out and tried to trap him. I know that she's you know I know her past. Part of this. There's nothing to do with that. I mean, you know if she's lying on me, then you know. I'm not, you know, like I said, I'll be getting an attorney, and, you know, but I don't have anything to, you know, that's it, and I'm not going to sit here and... Well, Maurice, to, Maurice, you know, we know, we know you told the kids that you were going boating. Why did you tell the kids where you were going boating that day? I didn't tell the kids we were going boating. I don't even boat. I don't even know how to They told boat. kids. They told everybody. They told the babysitters and everybody that you were going boating that night. Yeah, they know that, oh, yeah. and we know that we know. I've never operated a boat in my life in front of the city of St. Louis. I don't want to use a boat. No, because you weren't going boating. We know that, but a man has already said that you that that we knew what we were going to do when we go there. But obviously, the white car is in the way. The white car, the white car wasn't in the plan. So then we have to stop. So then, so then, then Amanda says that she wants to get the kids out and play. And and you know the talk about whether or not we're going to do this. No. Are we going to do this or not, Maurice? It's all there. It's all there. So if you don't account for this, guess what? It looks. It it all points to Maurice. Maurice is in total control. Maurice has drained her bank account. Maurice is Maurice is in charge. Maurice is having sex with about ten or fifteen other women. Ten or fifteen other women in the complex. It's it's Maurice with his thumb right down here on Amanda, and Amanda's saying that she'd do anything 
to keep Marie's. And, and if you don't think that this is all going to come to you, it is. Marie's held me back. I couldn't get my kids. Those are all true statements that she's making. Marie. When I held her back is when the people were already there and they were already in the world. Well, but that's not, what, that's not what's going to come that's out. That's not what's going to come out. I'm telling you all. That's what I told her. You know, let these people do their job. They don't need you to be interfering. I understand. Yeah. Maurice, and Maurice. Cool. And I didn't want her to do anything or radical, you know, you know, try to do something to herself, you know. Maurice. So I, was, I was trying to console her. Maurice, no. And why would Amanda lie? Well, why would Amanda lie? I have no idea. Well, that's exactly what the jury's going to say. They have, they, they have no reason to, to not believe her. She's taking a polygraph, too. I mean, we... You understand? I mean, we're not here. She's got no. She's got. Understand. She's got no reason. No reason to lie, because she has implicated herself a little bit in this. The only problem is, is she's diamond most of it on you. Right. Now she's going to be charged, but unfortunately, she's she's putting the majority of the heat on you. So so she's not sliding out of this, but she's very believable from the standpoint she already knows she's going to be charged. So the jury's going to look at it and say, hey. Her story is believable here because she's already been told she's going to be charged, but yet she's going ahead and telling this story. So, so why would she be lying? There's no, there's no reason for that. I don't that. know, sir. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on inside of Madison. I don't know why she's lying. I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. The fact of the matter is she's not lying because she has told things that we have been able to prove and we've been able to research to back up her statement with phone records, with, with the surveillance tapes, with everything else that we've got. Now, what she's done in her confession and everything that she's told is, is backed up by other means of investigation. And we're coming it's to it's you. backed up by the witness that was at the boat ramp. It's backed up by telephone. It's backed up by videotape. It's backed up by all this. It's backed up by other witness statements that have heard conversations and things. So all this is that she's told us is backed up by other things. Your story, it's not backed up at all. So Maurice, you know, you got to think here, man. You got to give yourself something here. You I'm going to sit up here and make up. Some don't want you to. Don't want you to. Don't want you to make up anything that's not true. But there's a hell of a lot to this story you haven't told. Like what? That's the problem. I mean, like I said, if you Amanda doesn't. You Amanda doesn't make up all this story. There was conversation about what was going to take place that night. Well, there was. Yeah, there was. Yeah, because she's not no reason to make it up. Why would the mother of kids? Why would the mother of kids make up that story? She's not going to. She's got no reason to make up that story, Maurice. And that's what the that's what the jury's going to look at it too. For Christ's sake, she's the she's the mother of the kids. So you telling me she said that we planned this and we talked about it earlier? No, we're not saying that we're not saying that it, it was planned out for months and months and months. No. That's what you just said. Though. We're saying we're saying that there was there was talk about going to the lake prior to when you said so in your statement. You said in your statement that you didn't that going to the lake was something that was decided on right after you got out of the shack. You ate. You yeah, didn't have any place to go, well, so you went to the lake. Said something about going to a lake or whatever. I don't remember. But but that's not like I said when we got into the car. But we've got we people. Shack, we were planning on heading home. Yeah, but we've got we've got, we've got people now. We got people now that that are going to get on the stand and say, that, yes, you made the comments to the kids that you were going to go boating at the lake that night. So so that's going to happen. Yeah. So so Amanda's confirmed that. And Amanda's confirmed the other conversations that took place at the boat ramp. The only thing about it is, everything she's saying that took place at the boat ramp is putting the whole incident on you. I told you that. I don't have anything to hide. I told you that, you know. Well, but, but why, why is two people there, and she's able to remember all these things that are backed up by all the evidence, and you're, you, you're saying none of this happened? Maurice, that's not going to work. I mean, you're you're not stupid here, Maurice. You're you're an intelligent person. You're an intelligent person. But unfortunately, here you're, you you think that you're going to be able to sell this story all the way through. You better get off of it because you need to you need well you need to score some points for Maurice here. Well.
Well, she came and stayed with you before she had a change of heart here and, and told well, the truth. Do that in the first place. Because she's, it, 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 show, it can, Maurice, it shows a continuation. You know why? Because she's still in love with you, Maurice. She's, she's, she's infatuated with you to the point that she would do anything for you. She said that. She said that I would do anything for Maurice. The other people we've interviewed say the same thing. So you know why she went with you right now? It, 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 well, think about it, Maurice. What, 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 her, what her excuse is going to be here? That you're in complete control. So after her kids die, you know what? After her kids die, where are you guys at? You guys are up on the square a couple hours later trying to get some weed to smoke. So, 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 so it goes right into it. She's still right behind you. She's not mourning over her kids. She's right behind you. Guess what? You go down to her mom's house, and you guys take a shower together when everybody else is mourning over the kids. Guess what that says? It says just exactly what she's saying, Maurice. It says, listen to me, Maurice. It says exactly that. It says, Maurice, I'm still following Maurice. Maurice is number one. Guess what? She abandons her family. She moves up here to Bloomington with you. Guess what? Another, another shining example of what she's telling everybody right now is her defense. She's coming up here to stay with you. It's Maurice. It's all about Maurice. That's what she said. So that's her defense, Maurice. He, she's already built it. Have to get the door open the first time. We know I couldn't get the door. Open. We have we have analyzed the 911 tapes, and we know that you didn't stay in the water trying to get the kids out of the car. We can hear you on the 911 tapes, and they've timed that, right. and they know. Right after, right after our trip. That's exactly it. Right. You didn't stay in the water trying to get the kids out, and you didn't go back in the water trying to get the kids out. Maurice, 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 it's going to show maybe for a for a second. <laughs> It's going to have, they've got the time that close, and it's, it's not going to show that you worked and worked to try to get the kids out, Maurice. That story's not going to work. I mean, if, 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 you're, if you're silly enough, you think you want to try to sell that accident story and sell that, then, then you're just doing yourself in. I mean, you because, because if you don't think that it has an impact on the jury to come clean and have some remorse and, and, and to explain that it wasn't all you, that has a big impact. If you leave it the way it is, and you just go to the jury and say, say, say it's a it's a, a terrible accident, but it, it, it's not believable to anybody. And she goes and puts a dime on you, too, on top of that. You know what they're going to do? They're going to have a little bit of sympathy for her because she's shown some remorse. And she's told, she's told the truth here. They're going to look at you and say, hey, this guy's stonewalling. He don't give a shit. 